Hola, me llamo Javier Bravo. Uso los pronombres de él, ellos. Soy un chicano escador y queer también. Hi, my name is Xavier Bravo. Uh, I use he and pronouns, and I'm a Chicano climber and queer as well. These are all my maps of where I've guided. This is Rocky Mountain National Park, the first place that I've ever guided before. Down here in the southwest part of the park. Yeah, this is the only brush I've actually been able to pretty much finish in my climbing career. Every other one I've lost or, or given away, so I keep it as a keepsake now. Right now I live in Boulder, Colorado. I work as the event coordinator for the American Alpine Club focusing on building out a more well-rounded space in the climbing community, making sure it's more inclusive, ensuring that the community feels heard about what they need and want in the events that we plan. I love what I do for work, and I love that it allows me to have a touch point with my passion of, of community organization, but I think that a lot of my passion projects outside of work are what really drive my attention. I volunteer for Latino Outdoors, one of the first affinity groups to pop up in the U.S. When I'm not volunteering with them, I might be volunteering with Cruxing Color, which is another amazing affinity space that increases climbing accessibility for all people of color. My relationship with the outdoors is about people. And as soon as I'm with people in a place that I love, doing the things that I love, that's when I can relax and breathe and just enjoy everything for, for the experience of life. I've had a lot of amazing mentors that have helped me build my confidence and build my skill set to feel like I can take on clients on my own and work within these remote places. Black Diamond has been an incredible supporter of me uh, as an individual. They first funded my single pitch instructor course through the MGA's affinity programs, and they were able to pay for all of my housing, my food, my transportation, and give us a lot of gear that we needed to be successful for the course. What's your favorite piece of gear? This one right here. <laughs> that bad boy. <laughs> Their support has allowed me to do the work that I want to do. Um, my certification has allowed me to give free programming and educational clinics to my community and reduce that barrier to entry. And I just am happy to give back and have more people like me in, in climbing and grow that passion for it. I grew up in a fairly Hispanic community, actually. I also had a fairly large family. If you don't already know, Hispanic families tend to be pretty big. Dozens of cousins, aunts and uncles, and obviously all of our grandparents too. And so whenever we had celebrations like family parties, birthdays, and things like that, we would actually go to parks to all be together. You know, we were barbecuing, we would play hide and seek in the woods nearby, crawling up in the trees or like laying in the grass. Being outside for me meant like to be with people and to be with family. Once I moved away from that predominantly Hispanic community when I moved to college, that's actually when I started to transition to the outdoors as a lot of people would define it. You know, backpacking, climbing. I feel like the best like side pool crimp in here is right there. I was loving the outdoors. I loved going camping and just like having fun out there in the wilderness. But as I started to get into the industry more as a professional guide, I understood that there was patterns that I was seeing, and that was the lack of diversity within the community. So when I finally was able to settle down in Colorado, I wanted to connect the passions that I have for my culture and connect the passions that I have for climbing 
and put them together to create Escaladores Unidos. Hi everybody, I'm Xavier. I use he and pronouns. Welcome to Escaladores Unidos. I started Escaladores Unidos back in November of 2022. Escaladores Unidos was created to foster connection for all self-identifying Latine, Latinx, and Hispanic individuals. And we help cultivate that conexión and amistad through regular gym meetups and outdoor skills learning as well. I wanted to build an organization because I wanted more Hispanic people that climb to meet each other. So being able to facilitate a space where they can meet and mentor one another and show what it means to be a Hispanic person in this space just felt like the right thing to do. Javier, Samuel, Samuel. That move right there is really fun. You should at least try that. Have you climbed to this gym before? When I first started, I struggled a lot balancing time and the money. Working a full-time job, volunteering for multiple other organizations, and trying to stay on top of my own climbing fitness was really hard. I don't know how you did that. I can't hold on to that last one. But I knew what I needed to do, and I knew, I knew what I was getting into. And so yeah, I, I don't regret it one bit. Hola, me llamo Leandra Hernandez. Mis pronombres son she, her, ella. Soy una organizadora para los Salt Lake Area Queer Climbers y también soy una ambasadora para los Escaladores Unidos. As a queer Latina, I feel like over the past decade, I have always been in search of finding a space that could really speak to who I am. And at our first Escaladores Unidos meetup, I remember speaking to several other climbers who felt the same way. And I remember thinking to myself, like, this is the power of this kind of space. I sometimes get asked by people, why do we need affinity groups? Why do you need a Latino climbers night? Or why do you need a queer climbing night? Why can't we all get together and climb? And I often explain to them how hard it is to not see yourself represented in the majority every day of your life. You know, when I was younger, I always remember feeling that the outdoors was never a space for me. And that was for a variety of reasons, right? Like, how do you get out there? Do you have someone to go with you to teach you? So on and so forth. And I think those were a lot of the implicit sort of barriers to me not getting into it when I was much younger. Having our identities and our lived experiences represented in the outdoors, not just climbing, but guiding and instructing is huge. I think when I first started in the outdoor industry, it felt like I should kind of stay in the background of it all, especially as somebody who holds a marginalized identity. Who was I to take up a lot of space and um, kind of changed the way things were. But the more I was in it, the more I realized this work needed to happen. People of marginalized identities deserve the happiness and growth and experience that comes along with our climbing journeys. And although we've been told, whether explicitly or implicitly, to have our voices lowered, to not take up as much space, it's the work of Escaladores Unidos to fight that narrative and show that we deserve to be here as well. Are you ready, dear? Oh, we must be sure There's no turning back Once we're out the door Leave your message here On the telephone Cause we've no idea When we're coming home Come on! Yes! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come being able to finally see it come to fruition within the past five months and seeing how far it's expanded in that short amount of time has been just something I would have never thought to happen, but I'm really excited that it did. When I see that person look at our banner and smile, when they connect with other escaladores and like share beta and laugh and like make plans to climb outside together, it just brings a like a really warm feeling to me to know that like even if it was just connection for two people, that like it made a difference for them. That's what counts. That's what matters to me. My hope with Escaladores Unidos, right now it, like it's more of just a climbing meetup group, but I want it to be more than just that. My goal for it is to be more of a movement that the climbing community understands is needed, um, rather than us needing to exist for it to actually happen.
And thankfully, being in Colorado is a really special place to be able to build those connections, not just with people, but with industry brands and people that are making changes within the outdoor community to help support me in my endeavors and give me advice and mentor me in the same way that I've been seeking to mentor others too. I don't think that this work will ever truly be done, which is not a bad thing. Us constantly evolving is how we as a species have got to where we are today. And so as we grow together, we'll just start to understand the needs that we have more and more. There's been so much given to me that I feel like I have to give back. It is my time to give back. Like, why be given these opportunities if I'm not going to give that back to my community too? We wouldn't be who we are today without the people before us. To just like bring everybody alongside with you and grow together is um, something I'm, I'm never going to live without.